Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm going to be teaching you how to get your Twitch chat in VR. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go in the description and you want to go to this GitHub page. Make sure you have WinRAR or 7-Zip downloaded or else it will not let you open this. So once you scroll past all these notes, you want to click on this little thing called Assets right here, this little word, and click Open VR Desktop Display Portal and download the .zip file. Not the source code, this right here. So it's just going to download onto wherever you put it. I put mine to my desktop, so you just want to drag it into like a folder, make a new folder, drag it into it. Right click on the thing, click extract here, or extract it however other way your program uses. You could just delete it, you don't really need that program anymore. And then, you want to open it up. So make sure you have your headset connected, I have mine, Rift S and Touch, connected to my computer. So it's going to load up, as well as your Steam VR automatically boots up. So, you could just... Make sure this is up or else the program will stop working. You can close it if you view if you have that open. Close it that. And then you wanna go to your Twitch. So click my Twitch, click on your little icon, create a dashboard. So this is a new creator dashboard. And just click right here. Switch to non mod settings, pop out chat. And that's all you need Chrome for, so you can close that. You just need this little window. Click right here, Twitch Google Chrome. And then change it to GDI Interactor, also it won't work. I like would it keep your frames low. You can honestly put them at one FPS because you don't like need that. It's just gonna be your Twitch chat unless you have a really fast Twitch chat. Then move it up to like thirty. Um, I don't know if the more FPS you have, the more your game lags. At the same time, it's still getting my max FPS. But um, it's GDI Interact. So like whenever you put something over top of it, it will display the thing that's over top of it. So you have to make sure it's always over your games. So then you can change it. So say world four, it's like where it is in the world. World right wall, back wall, left wall. Or you can do these. Like I do left controller, backside, right here. This is the one I use. So you just click load, and it'll switch all around. You can do swap controllers. Um. But if you hop into VR, it will actually appear on your left hand when you flip it over. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like. And uh, have a great night, day, whatever it is for you. Peace out.